baby, just watch. Come on. So hello and welcome to a first episode in the series which is sh me showing you how to use Helen Sign Editor 3.2. So I'll just close that one just for now. So I'm going to show you in the first episode on how to program a route and set it up. So we'll just open it up here. You can see here you've got the option bars, you've got file, options, route which isn't selected and help. On here you don't have to worry about these for now. So we go file and new. I'll bring it up there, just ignore that. I've already got one of the tests, that should be good then. I'll just overwrite that. Obviously you'd have to select in, in its own folder, so i just call it test, and then whatever you want to call it. And here you'll come up with the sign parameters. So I, I choose to ignore sign 0. Sign 1, it starts off as that. You want external LED, and you want it at 144119. Now these bits, the width of the root depends on how how wide you want the numbers to be. If it's not if it's not wide enough the numbers won't fit through, so I'd recommend something around the 50 mark. You'd rather be safe than sorry. Justification, that's basically what side the root numbers are going to be on, whether they're going to be on the left side or whether they're going to be on the right side. I do right. Sign height, well, it's up to you. You can either have it with the destination on the top, but um, but I just generally have a generic one of ten. Set standard fonts. No, um, I've marked up there, big time. I will do that again. I've done that. You know I've done that. Sign two. You want external LED, and you want it at ninety six by eight. Just leave that as that. Sign three. You want an external LED again, and you want it a slightly smaller height of 32 by 17. That's going to be your rear, your rear desk. Just leave that as that. And four. Sign four is optional. I'd say that depends on whether you say, say if you have a Reaver operating your area and you got like Sapphire or something, mm. or you just get the companies that have the big rear desks. That's at 128 by 17. So you'd select that, and obviously the justification obviously would be a bit smaller, so you'd bring that left a bit by using the down arrow. And once you're done, you press OK. And here you set up your sign heights. So we're going to just enter a new one, we're just going to do a generic night in service one. So we're going to do just one driver's message not in service. And it depends how you're going to do it. I'm just going to do it in just saying not in service at the top. And then just say put. Have that. Have that on there. Spell read wrong. Yep, I know. Here you're just going to have not in service leave the back blank you can obviously choose to write in that if you want but I'm not going to then sign one just in case you didn't get it, me moving these arrows here that just changes the template, that's all so I'm going to go to that one that's just a two line and that's going to be Slash southeast. Right, I'm going to press OK. Message ID already exists. Right. That is. Do then. There we are. You see there, that's your preview. That's not your actual finishing. You just want to see if I can change that to 1 because that's been a pain. Message ID exists. Right, I'll have to keep it as 2 then. You want to edit the signs if you want to change it around a little bit, make it a bit more presentable. Now you can see you see through some of the fonts. All these ones, like these here, these here, they're ones that I've made that have been modified. So if I do say this one, the closest you're going to get is that one. 
Now the first number is the size height, so that's 11. So I'm going to just do this one, this one's sort of size 11, because say if I put a Y here, you can see the Y touches the 11th pixel. So I'm just going to leave that as there. Also you can change the spacing here. So you say that's one pixel spacing. You have two, which is your normal one. So if I say put here, you might be able to put... No, you can't put sorry in there. See how far we can get. Oh, there. So one pixel spacing is alright. Then here, just going to keep going down. I'm just going to do... Right, that one there, that's... Okay. Had a little issue for there. Just change the sign height to 11 because that sort of jigs the font down a little bit. Nope, that's uncharted territory for now. There, I'll just repress enter. See, move down a bit, more helpful. There we are. Then the size one. I just normally need to get this font back up again. You go down on the arrow key, go up again, brings that up. This font is just generally this font. In a later episode I'll show you how to uh, create this font from scratch. But I've just made it there. Go to the side one, next one, sign three, that's your rear one. Go not in, press tab, I press the tab button. Then service, press enter, then fonts are fine. Same with the fourth one. I'm just gonna keep going down until I find something there. So no, that one ain't gonna work. Maybe I can just put, say maybe a reverse selfie there, maybe. If I save it and preview it, that's what you get. So this is just a quick quick guide on how to use Hannah the Helen. I'm sure in the next episodes I'll be able to show you more how to sort of create the root numbers and how to create fonts and whatever. Also if you like it, press that like button. If you want me to do a root or something, just comment on the section and subscribe. Also, Facebook page in the description, it's got more Hello over Helen stuff, so displays that I've made. So just tune into there, give her Facebook page a like, and I'll see you in the next episode.